actually interesting as you drive through the Vic Alps, you will come across numerous information boards that explain a lot about the Vic Alps and how certain areas are under threat. It's interesting to note that as you go through Dinner Plain on your way through to Omeo, you'll come across these information boards that actually say that the biggest um, threat to these sphagnum bogs is actually development. As we made our way further into the Vic Alps and headed up to the headway of uh, one of the creeks that leads into the Buchan River, we really wanted to see for ourselves uh, how extensive the damage is. Well, I think here is the proof is that these streams are crystal clear in their wilderness areas and the Brumbies only select a few crossing points to get across the waterways, uh, which I will show to you a little bit later in another video. But you can also see that they actually choose to walk alongside the water and just do so in single file on a very narrow constructed track. All right, here we are at one of the pristine areas that Parks is claiming has been destroyed by the Brumbies. And it is a very pristine area, I can certainly say that. I'd like to just show you the damage done here. And that's on this creek crossing, that's really the extent of the damage. But now I'd like to show you the actual creek itself where they're crossing. And they're coming on the bank, and then they're coming up here where the creek is really narrow, and they're going across, and then they're coming back. And again, if you look at the creek, there's absolutely no damage whatsoever from the horses. And the other thing I'd just point to your attention, if you look here, I see as many deer prints as I see horse prints. Um, but that's the extent of the damage along this, and this is the major pathway for the Brumbies in this area. Around, you can see some of the exclusion uh, plots that have been put in uh, by parks in collaboration with um, the Mountain Cattlemen's Association um, as well. But you know, I, I'm, I've, we've walked through here, and if they're claiming to be thousands and thousands of brumbies, I'm just I, I can't find it. And what I am finding is where a horse or any animal, be that a deer, a pig, a kangaroo, would naturally go and drink. I think that's quite reasonable to allow any animal to go and get some water. Um, and I'll show you the areas where they're going in to get the water. You make up your own mind how much damage there is. Personally, not much. No, it's not just a bush fence. This is an area uh, that's part of a project done in conjunction with the Alpine Brumby Management Association and the Mountain Cattlemen's Association of Victoria. These um, fenced off plots are monitoring um, what the outcomes are from grazing animals um, do in, in the Alpine National Park. The fenced off areas um, are hopefully going to show that there's not that great of a difference um, with what's going on. Look, I do note that certainly the grasses and rush in the plots are certainly, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're untouched. You can't, can't dispute that whatsoever. But um, as for the rest of the area down through here, um, what I see is um, a really well cleared area that makes for a, a terrific fire break um, for, for all the animals. Now the, the areas that they're talking about that are being really destroyed um, are also the, the creeks and the waterways and um, how they're killing off the frogs and everything else. Uh, yeah, you can certainly see down here that um, the water is very, very clear. 
yes you can see where area has um, slumped in to, to the, the waterway um, but if there's you know the three or four five six thousand brumbies that they're saying are around um, <laughs> I've almost got a laugh really the, um, the, the the frog life up here is is pretty extensive and there was an area I've probably already walked past it uh, it was just full of frog spawn so you know things things are looking pretty healthy oh down here in the creek oh here we go I didn't walk past it so yeah you obviously judge waterways by the activity uh, with the frogs and um, yeah the frogs oh look at that frogs have actually spawned in some of the areas where the brumbies or deer have um, stepped in to get a, a drink what about that I see that the horses are actually helping out the frogs here well 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 so don't be fooled frogs and brumbies can actually cohabitate together and be mutually dependent.